Uh oh. <clears throat> Emboldened Biden, Dems push ban on so-called assault weapons. Yeah, those those guys are dumb fucks too. Yeah, I don't think this is a good idea. Why are we agreeing today? We're supposed to argue. Um, <laughs> this doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, uh, Colorado and Virginia. Oh yeah, it's a, I think Virginia did actually pass something or suggest that they want to sign a thing. Uh, same amount of semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick just sick I'm gonna try and get rid of assault weapons says Joe Biden ridiculous what the fuck is an assault weapon <sighs> that's I know I agree that it's dumb no matter what he no matter what the definition comes down to all gun... weapons are made for assault of some kind I know. they only They're do weapons. one thing they only do one thing you know this thing doesn't turn screws in your Ikea furniture it doesn't microwave burritos. It doesn't put nails into walls. It doesn't, uh, I don't know, turn bolts by applying pressure. It, yes, it this is meant to people. launch pieces of metal at yeah. very high speed. I agree. The, That's what it they does. Aren't, they aren't tools. Uh, you can kill a guy with a hammer. I have a hammer back there. You could kill a guy with a hammer, but a hammer also drives nails. You could kill somebody with a screwdriver, but a screwdriver also turns screws. I mean, there's n only one thing that these do. And the... I don't think banning them, or banning certain parts, because that's what the liberals love to do, right? Is to call something an assault rifle because it has a certain grip or a certain magazine, and then the people who are very excited about guns just change the grip. Yeah, well, I mean, that's how it goes, and it's dumb. It, it's The people that write this legislation don't know guns anyway. I know, yeah, I you're mean, right. You've seen that pic, that clip of the uh, the guy talking about the ghost gun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what an idiot. Um, and then he's going to write legislation about, about some, uh, something which he knows nothing about. Right. But then you've got Biden here, and... and the definition of assault weapon that Biden has just given is a semi-automatic weapon, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh-oh, because that's the most um, narrow definition of an assault weapon that's that's been given to date. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to ban semi-automatic weapons, you're talking about uh, the remaining weapons that you could have would be a shotgun. Um or revolver a pistols, uh, revolver yeah. a flintlock sort of uh pistol <laughs> you know you're you're talking about very um a very limited set of weapons although i don't know if you want all storekeepers and shop owners and and personal home defenders to have shotguns i mean if you've seen what a slug of a shotgun does to somebody uh, you're not surviving that. Like, a shotgun slug will blow an entire head off. Uh, yeah. Like, you, you, there are some people that can come back from a bullet wound. You're not coming back from a shotgun wound. It's not happening. Yeah, it's the, the, the slugs not the way especially. to go about it. So, yeah, yeah, this is not the way to go about it. Painting uh, assault weapons just gets you a list of things that they can't use pump stocks you know that that kind of crap um yeah we've already the, banned automatic weapons so okay yeah. anything that makes a weapon automatic or yeah. faux automatic they'll just find uh, a way around it should you know? be banned but semi-automatic i don't think should be banned i think that's those are perfectly fine it's one trigger pull one bullet mm -hmm. right uh, and yeah, now I if Biden's proposing a semi-automatic automatic weapons ban, that's uh, that's not going to make it through legislation. It's just not. And if it does, I I think that spends years in court. Mm -hmm. And then even then the and then the dams lose because they right hits them with it over and over and over again. Yeah, really it's, really dumb thing for Biden to it's say. Not a winning thing for them. They. Um, what do you suggest we do instead? 
What do you mean? What do I suggest we do? I mean, to stop the shooters. The guy who walked into the uh, gay club and opened fire last week. Well, I think that we've got a societal problem. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know about what the... Uh, I haven't looked into the guy that went and shot up that gay club, but uh, oh, he's uh, he's special. Most well, what do you mean special? Oh, he's uh, he's hard right, um, and in a shit poster style is claiming to be uh, um, non-binary now, and I think this is gonna get worse. I think a lot more people are gonna follow his lead. I think powered by uh, Laura Bobert, Lauren Bobert and uh, Maytag, uh, they're going to shoot up the gay places and then claim to be non-binary and or queer. And Interesting. It's just shit posting, honestly. Uh, they, sh they shoot the place up first, then they shit post. Uh, his... I suppose we'll, I suppose we'll find out. Um, yeah. I think that I mean, yeah, there is a certain uh, risk of people becoming radicalized, but we're living in a radical society right now. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, people have been uh, divided quite a bit more than they, they were 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but in addition to that, a lot of our shooters these days are uh, sort of disaffected individuals. Mm -hmm. um, they are not participants in society um, a lot of them of a great number of them come from uh, broken homes mm -hmm. <clears throat> excuse me um, I mean I without looking into this guy so I don't know what his his backstory is really uh, but I understand that most of the shooters these days are coming from places where they don't have a father Oh, um, um, they interviewed his dad. His dad is a porn star who is a hard right conservative and hates gay people. Uh, wow, that is a collection of, of words. Um, yeah, it's a collection, isn't it? Words that I did not expect to hear today. <laughs> <laughs> um, and his grandfather is a uh, an elected Republican, state Republican, who oh, might God. have gotten. Uh, felony charges thrown out. Uh, uh, he built bombs, threatened his mother with weapons, and had like seven felony charges that all got dismissed. So the guy's a crazy person. Yeah, I know. He's he's a crazy person. Well, I will say one of the of uh, Ronald Reagan's worst mistakes uh, after amnesty was uh, was closing the asylums mm -hmm. oh i agree yeah that was it saved money though uh <laughs> saved yeah, government course. money you know and we, we really need to bring those back we need yeah let's, we let's need put those institutions to, yeah let's do it um then they would be getting that would be considered health care right yeah okay and the state pays for it sure or the but federal it's also to keep the yeah. crazy people away from I know. the well-adjusted people. Okay. <laughs> it's one step closer to universal health care. I love it. Sure. Yeah, let's bring the asylums back. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we see. There you go. We can, we can solve this problem. Launch universal health care. Pay for bring, it. Bring the uh, asylums back. And if you... And I would go as far as if you want one of these weapons, you have to get a note from your doctor. And doctors are free now, so just go in there. You have to get a note from your doctor as in like, hey, this person's not a crazy person. Yeah, that's it. Well, if we bring the asylums back, they'll all be in, in the asylum. So. Right, but when, th when this shooter <laughs> goes to get uh, his note, his doctor says, God, no, you can't have that note. In fact, I'm suggesting that you go to this healthcare facility, this mental health care facility, and then he would be in the asylum. I think this solves all our problems. You have to get a doctor's note before you can get a gun license. Hmm. And if it is as um, 
uh, Republican senators keep telling me, a mental health problem, well, then doctors need to be involved. If Republicans keep telling me mental health, mental health, mental health problems, then doctors need to be involved. They need to be the solution. Well, I think that we sort of look past the fact that it is a mental health problem and we're trying to look at the causes of the mental health problems which is why i say it's a societal issue right i mean if you have a mental health problem you ought to see a doctor if the uh, i don't agree that banning them is a good idea but if you uh, if you give people mental health options to see a doctor and get treated if this kid walks in to get his license and the doctor's like, no, you got all these issues. Here's some medication. Here's some uh, referral to a therapist. Like, we could have prevented it. It sounds... I have to do some research on this and, okay. and think about it a lot. It, it sounds like something that I sort of bristle at instinctively. Okay. Um in terms of it gives somebody else control over what you can you can and cannot do with your rights um like you're i mean you're placing the that the control of that in the hands of a doctor mm -hmm. uh you yeah. are hmm. because doing if... that naturally would require that you move towards ceding additional control um, in the form of we have to nationalize health care. Right. Or if Which, we don't, then you yeah. have to pay for the doctor's visit. Right, I agree. In order to get the note, and then I, you get the, the gun. Yeah, I agree with you. If you have to pay for that doctor's visit, then guns become a thing that poor people can't access. And I don't think that's a good idea. So we'll need to have the federal government pay for all those things. And well, that see, is part you, of universal health That's part of where, where my I'm... I'm <laughs> not in favor there but uh yeah that's that's a whole topic right there uh we'll have to talk about that some other time because okay. i did not come prepared for that that's fine no that's good that is just my idea anyway uh my basic spitball idea is get your uh and uh, yeah you have to go to your obamacare doctor before you can buy a gun i love the idea uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh right What's next? Uh, oh, Herschel Walker might have committed election fraud. <laughs> nice. <laughs> because he lives in Texas. Uh, his home is Texas, but he's running for Senate in Georgia. <laughs> this is fantastic. Like, God, if, if all his other nonsense wasn't bad enough, like... <laughs> well... It's always darkest just before the dawn. <laughs> so yeah, um, he has uh, said a thousand stupid, stupid things. But also, according to 2020 Georgia Code, residents of the state can be rescinded if an individual moves to another state with the intention of making such a person's residence. So yeah, um, he has claimed on his taxes that his residence is Texas, yet in this election he is claiming residence in Georgia. So he'll still get a lot of Republican votes. It'll be great. Um, so what else do we got? We got, yeah. So yeah, this is more on the gun stuff. Um, uh, what do we, what do you think of red flag laws? Um, it depends on how they're implemented. I agree. Um, I mean, <clears throat> We just talked about Nick Fuentes mm -hmm. a bit ago, mm -hmm. and I I do know that one of his chief complaints uh, about our system is that he was put on no fly lists. Mm -hmm. Um, there's no due process for that. For the like, no fly list, I agree. There is no due process for that. Yeah. Um. I mean. If red flag laws are implemented in the same way that no fly lists are, no, that I'm I absolutely uh, am against that. Um, if you get if you have a red flag, 
Oh, you'd have to. It, it depends on what the red flags are, but there should be a way to appeal them. Um, you can't yeah. just put somebody on a random list and then take away their ability to uh, exercise their Second Amendment right. Okay. That's ridiculous. What if you were arrested for felis, felony menacing and kidnapping charges in a case that was later dropped? Why was it dropped? Uh, nobody really knows yet. Well, um, that's kind of important. The, the extreme leftists are saying because his grandpa was a uh, elected Republican. But nobody's sure of that yet. And I think it's like sealed within the court or something like that, so we don't know. It might come out later, but... Um, this sounds like a special case almost. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, you've got an elected official that's trying to pull strings and whatnot. Like, this is not your normal situation, right? Mm -hmm. I think laws are generally developed for the uh, the broad strokes. This is not one of them. Okay. So this guy fits in between all the Swiss cheese holes, right? Accidentally. Yeah, well... When you've got a lawmaker that's making that's behaving in a corrupt fashion, that's going to create holes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like those car those charges were dropped. Why? I want to know why they were dropped. Did he actually kidnap somebody? Did he he? You know, like yeah. Um, hypothetically, because we crime. already like we yeah. already have laws that mm -hmm. like it says he was arrested on felony menacing and kidnapping charges and we already have laws that say hey if you are convicted of a felony you can't buy a gun mm -hmm. so the system was broken there except for the fact that this guy potentially had a state lawmaker writing checks or making phone calls on his mm -hmm. behalf mm -hmm. so you know, this isn't this is not a normal case. Yeah, that's what is uh, alleged at the moment. Um, but it, it hasn't been proven, so that's still alleged. Uh, Want to be fair? Um, but it they didn't do an extreme risk protection order (ERPO), so they call them. Do you think this is an acceptable idea, though? Somebody. Um, triggers the red flag and then the cops go in to take guns i don't like that idea because cops storming in to take your guns leads to people getting shot yeah it does because they're not supposed to do that <laughs> yeah um what, what 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 would cops do if they knew a felon had guns in their house would they storm in and kick open the door and take them depends they had, they would have it, they would have to get a warrant first mm-hmm mm -hmm. Um, and then if they had the warrant, they knew that the felon was, or had guns in the house, then yeah, there would probably be a SWAT team that comes and takes the okay. guns. Okay. And if the felon shoots back, well, yeah, now guess he's, what? Yeah. Now he's dead. I'm getting shot. Yeah. Um, yeah. so yeah, I, I think you're right. The, uh, red flag, red flag laws aren't well set up right now. And the sheriff's office isn't even using them. Right. Well, so it's only uh, like I said, we, we sort of already issues. have red flag laws, right? They're called felonies. <laughs> well, you have to be... <laughs> like, uh, yeah. if you get convicted of one, you don't get a gun anymore. Okay. But and... the idea that uh, you can just be put on a list and then now you, you lose one of your rights, that's totally uh, ridiculous to me. They're not putting people on um, the list. I mean, the cops if, are the people putting them on the list. I, 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 if, I, if I were drafting up a red flag law, it would just be the, the uh, local and state police that are allowed to put your name on that list. And sure. there would be and that, that should differing still be levels. something that you can appeal. Yeah, and then you like, can appeal if, it. If you have a red, red flag... There should be like a board you should be able to go before to talk with them, be mm -hmm. like, why do you want to, why do you want a gun, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But there, there needs to be a sort of, some sort of oversight to prevent the abuse of that power. And it definitely needs to be something that um, has a certain degree of, uh, gosh, of, um, uh, 
what's the word? Believability? When you, when you um, go through the court system. Um, liability. Not liability. It starts with an L. Litigation? Lit litigious. Yeah, there's litigious. a certain degree yeah. of uh, lit litigation that yeah. goes on there. Yeah. Okay. What, um, you should be able to litigate, litigate it. What if you, you know? made a homemade bomb? <laughs> Isn't that a felony? I think so. <laughs> Pretty sure it's a felony to make a homemade bomb. Okay. I don't know. Maybe he was just accused of making a homemade bomb. I don't know. Um... Uh, here's how the law is supposed to work. Uh, law enforcement I'd, I'd, and family members can petition a judge to order the temporary removal of someone's firearms. So it has to go before a judge. And then the cops have to go in there and take them. Uh, if the order is granted, the judge must rule within 14 days whether, the, whether to extend or the seizure period and prevent the person from purchasing more guns for up to 364 days. The judge is required to determine whether evidence is clear and convincing in weighing whether a person is a significant risk to themselves or others when deciding whether to extend the ERPO. Hmm. I think this gets back to what we were talking about earlier, that you can't seize guns to prevent the problem. No. What if you set off a red flag law and they, you're not allowed to buy any more guns until you go to your Obamacare doctor and get a note? Again, it depends. It, it depends on what the red flag law actually is. Yeah, if you're if you're uh, maybe the, the way it's written, the things that they that they prohibit. Um, I mean, if you were let's say arrested not uh, not completely found guilty but arrested for uh making homemade bombs and threatening people and possible kidnapping would the judge say okay now you got the ERPO and you have to go through a uh doctor to get a license i think would that you, would you be okay with that if you're arrested for making homemade bombs and kidnapping people but it was not but let's let's imagine that um, they were uh, over exaggerating, or uh, you're found not guilty of those things. So is, is that possible? Hey, you've been arrested for making homemade bombs. You're accused of making homemade bombs and uh, kidnapping, but it was just overreaction, and you're found not guilty. You think that person should have to go to a m medical appointment to get their gun license back? You no, uh, okay. but be, in the way that you phrase it, no. Because they were found not guilty. Well, because yeah, in this case it went to trial. Mm -hmm. They were found not guilty, so which means that all of the evidence has been looked at. Um, if you are cleared of of the charges, then then no, you shouldn't be on that list, right? But this guy was not cleared of those charges. Uh, somebody pulled strings to get the charges dropped, but that is not the same thing as being, um, and now I'm forgetting another word. Starts with an A. Acquitted. Uh, acquitted of yes. charges, right? Yeah. Okay. Like, uh, there's a very detailed conversation that we had there. Um, it, it's... I don't think crazy people should have guns, but where we put crazy people on, where where we draw that line is is definitely up for debate. And then on yeah. top of that is is the fact that if we do have a point where someone's not allowed to exercise a right of theirs, then we need to have a certain amount of due process for that. It's uh, got to be good reasoning. Okay. Exact. Right. It it's got to be. Um, there's got to be a lot of a lot of thought put into it, and there needs to be um, the ability to appeal it. I think. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool.
Uh, what do we got next? Um, Sarah I don't think that, that. Oh, sorry. I, I don't think that the um, the push right now. I, I think that the whole push for sensible gun control is uh, a sort of a red herring. I, I think that the Democrats really do. Like Joe Biden was saying, just they straight up just want to ban um, weapons. Mm -hmm. So I, I do think that the whole argument is almost one that's, that's used as bait. Um, whereas I, I see what they actually want to do. And, mm -hmm. and Biden kind of let it slip. Like, he wants to ban all semi-automatic weapons. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Well, I'm totally not in favor of that. So okay. there is there is that um, sort of argument to be had as well, is, is do we ban all semi-automatic weapons? I say no. Um, the, uh, but the sort of red flag laws sound like they're sort of used to sort of beat around the bush where 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 i i guess my question is where do you stand on that mm, i think the idea of uh i mean you have to go through your uh i would love a uh universal health care go to your doctor to get your gun license you have to go there you have to get it signed then you take it and you can get your uh, gun license and then if things come up it's like being arrested for making bombs and kidnapping you have to your gun license gets shut down and you have to go back and get another uh, uh, assessment through your uh, medical provider and that medical provider would have uh, to refer you to a uh, uh, okay so you're not in favor of and... a full ban on semi-automatic weapons no I don't think that works I, I'm all right with the the spirit of what they want to do they want to stop people killing each other with these guns and that's fine i understand that but you don't get it by doing the ban i th agree with the democrats goal just not their means their means are wrong uh banning the guns isn't going to solve the problem if it is a mental problem then you have to have mental solutions and banning assault rifles doesn't work whatever you use to define it the uh, gun people, I'm not going to call them gun nuts, but some of them are, but someone will change the grip. They'll change the, uh, uh, spring loading within the clip. They'll change the bump stock so that it isn't within that definition any longer. They'll shave an inch off of the barrel and it's no longer an assault rifle under the, whatever description the Democrats create. So, right. uh, they are doing a bad job <laughs> uh, if they would just pass universal health care we could solve the actual problem but they're scared to do that too because half of the democrats are in the pockets of uh, the insurance industry uh you keep bringing it back to this universal health care i'm i'm I think gonna push back but problem. i uh, yeah. you know we can have that conversation another time I am not prepared to have it right now. Okay. Um, that's <laughs> that's all right. I think it would solve the problem. Uh, do I want uh, Biden to pass a, an assault weapons ban? No. I don't think it helps. I don't think it does what he thinks it does. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It uh, It's a Band-Aid over a, uh, a greater problem. Yeah. 